Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be making these new Krusty's um, Supreme Mix. These are the cinnamon rolls, and um, you can do them, and it comes with icing too. You can do it either way. You can do just the cinnamon rolls in a pan, or you can do them in muffin cups. And so we're just going to do ours in muffin, the little uh, muffin pans, papers. And I've lightly sprayed these, so when we're ready for them, they'll, they're ready to go. Um, what you need is a bowl to mix it in, and a half cup of water. That's all you need to make the actual dough. Then you need um, six tablespoons of margarine or butter melted. And we, this is butter. And then we're gonna need one and a half tablespoons of water once we do our icing, but I'll, I'll get to that in, in a little bit. But for right now, it needs the water and the dough mix. Uh, these were $2.99 at Meyer, and we did not see these at Walmart. We went to Walmart and we didn't look at Kroger, but I don't remember seeing them at Kroger when we didn't specifically look for them at Kroger, but I do not remember seeing them. Now that's the icing mix. It says icing mix on the package. And this one says dough mix. And then this is our cinnamon. And our oven is preheated. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that in just one second. Hold on. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to heat the oven to 400 degrees. We're going to lightly grease either the egg bake pan or the muffin papers, which makes it easier to get out. We're going to stir our dough and water together until it, until it the dough mix and the water together until it forms a dough. So we're just going to cut this. And you are going to be rolling this out um, on a floured surface in a 7 by 12 inch size uh, area. So I do have a ruler, just a regular ruler, so I can get the measurement. And we're going to be brushing the butter on. So you want some kind of brush just to brush the butter on. It doesn't have to be uh, fancy. You could probably get away with using a spoon, although it, it works better when you've got a brush. So, okay. So let's add this. And I'm not doing a hand mixer or anything. It didn't say to hand mix it. It just, it, the picture literally has a spoon. So. And I'm hoping this is going to be kind of a dry dough, not a wet dough, because uh, I hate dealing with wet, sticky dough. It's just a pain in the butt. And it also says don't over mix. So I'm going to try my best not to beat it around too much. I'm going to um, wipe my counter down really good, get my flour um, out, and then I'll be right back to show you um, what you do next. Okay, I'm just throwing some flour down. Um, I'm gonna, it says to roll it out with a rolling pin. I'm gonna try not to have to do that if I don't have to, because um, I've always hated dealing with rolling pins. Okay, so what we wanna do is get this rolled out to, or flattened out to a, um, a seven by 12 inch, um, square rectangle so that's what we're working towards all right that's about seven inches wide so if i can get it to 12 inches long then, uh, then i'll be in good shape pastry thing uh, that actually 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 bought me uh, for Christmas so so now what you do is you you spread um, the cinnamon mix evenly across the dough and I don't know how I don't know how wet it is it feels pretty pretty powdery maybe it's a little a little wet but we'll see yeah, it's kind of like a brown sugar mixture is kind of what it feels like. I'm just going to do it by hand. So now what I want to do is I want to roll it up um, this way. It should be 12 inches long. The, the roll should be. And I have a feeling it's going to be sticking some. That's why I wanted to get this out. And 
should still be about 12 inches long, which it is. And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it out now in one inch sections and I'm gonna cut them off. Okay, and then these pieces are gonna go spiral side up in our muffin pans, our muffin papers. do you want to basically brush half of your butter mixture on the top so I'm literally just gonna brush it to where they, they get moist so you can get the 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 butter on top and these are gonna bake in the oven for 14 to 16 minutes we'll probably just split in half we'll probably do 15 um, take a look and see what they look like they should be golden brown when they come out so that's what we're shooting for uh, once they come out of the oven, um, you're going to brush the warm rolls with the rest of the butter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mix the icing up. Uh, I've got one tablespoon of water, cold water, in my bowl. I've got another bowl here of just water and another um, half teaspoon so I can dip some in there. Basically what I'm going to do, if you've got a whisk, it's a little big. I wish it was a little smaller, but I don't have anything smaller. You're going to add your icing mix in here. It just feels like it's just powdered sugar. And then I'm going to add water as, um, as I need. So if this is, if this is too, um, too thick, then I'll, I'll put more. Ashley thinks, oh, no, that's not really But there's that's, a plastic one there. No, 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 I don't want plastic. Oh. This will work well. This is the one from our hand mixer, <laughs> but it'll work. All right, you can see that's all. That's actually not too bad, honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just powdered sugar. Maybe just a tiny, I don't know, that looks, looks pretty good to me. Tammy's nodding her head, she thinks I should leave it alone too. Um, I have made icing before and made it too runny and it just doesn't do good. So, uh, so yeah, one tablespoon is what I ended up with and this made it made a pretty good uh, consistency so um, a good thing I didn't add the full one and a half tablespoons that they called for so start out smaller and then mix it in as you need and this is a this is what I'm going to drizzle over the top I may actually just use that to drizzle and um, and I'll I'll be back when they come out okay here they are out of the oven this is what they look like and I'm just going to take my, my butter and brush on the top And I'm gonna let them sit for a little while. I don't think I wanna put the glaze on them while it's this hot because I think it would just um, turn to a liquid and just go away, you know? So I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. It does say warm uh, rolls. I want this butter soak in a little bit too. But these came out pretty good. I like the looks of all of these. Now the ones that, that were small at the end, they're kind of sad looking. They're sad pandas, but you know, the rest of them look pretty good. They smell good. Yeah, now those you can pay attention to. Ignore the rest of these. That looks more like a cookie. <laughs> they didn't burn though, so, you know, it's always a positive. So I'm going to let these cool off a little bit longer and then uh, I'll be back to do the icing. Okay, we've had a little bit of time, not super long time. I mean, it's literally been like what, five minutes maybe. And um, so I'm just going to drizzle this over, over top of these. And I'm probably going to make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. I'm going to start out small on each one and then I'll go from there. Okay, I went over them once and I'm just hitting them uh, just really quickly again, just kind of slinging some on. But you can kind of see what they look like. They look really good. Um, and that pretty much, I like getting the little um, whisk on there and just kind of drizzling them over with the whisk. It works, works pretty good that way. So What happened um, to that one? Um, actually, I actually ate that one. Actually, may have stole that one. And it was good. <laughs> Ashley's a fan. Yeah, we haven't done our review yet, but Ashley has said she will definitely be eating another one, so she likes them. Yep. So anyway, we're gonna take these in the other room and try them out for you. Well, I can't wait to try these because 
Ashley really, really likes these. She is a fan. You want me to get the big one? Yeah. Well, they're pretty much the same. Pretty much. Um, here's what they look like coming out of the papers. They really did. Um, they really did a good job, and they uh, they stick a little bit on the bottom because of the. I think well, not because of the cinnamon. Mine's stuck. Did you I should have gotten us two plates. I don't know why. I there just got one plate. I got. It. You made a mess. Oh, wow. I can't help it. I understand now why Ashley is a fan. Yeah, they're good. And I asked Ashley, I said, can you tell the difference between these and the Pillsbury? Yeah, because Pillsbury are just so easy. You take them out, you lay them on a pan, you, then you're done. Yeah, I so said, why would you, why would anybody go to the trouble of making these when you can just buy those and she said you could definitely tell a difference I agree with her mm -hmm. completely and these oh, the, the texture of these the flavor of these that is awesome mm -hmm. if you if you have time to do what you saw Kevin do which I admit it's a little bit of trouble um, it wasn't bad though it really didn't take me that long if you have time to do all that though I recommend these. This is very it's a very good. good mix. At least mm -hmm. give it a shot. Oh, well, I like, like I that. said, when I was using the the scraper thing on um, mine, um, you could just easily use a knife um, to get it. You just want something fairly thin. I doubt I would use. Don't use like a butter knife to do it. I don't think it would be sharp enough to get a good cut. Mm -hmm. But if you use like a regular like a paring knife or something like that, that would have been fine. Um, and mine, some of them are really thick and probably too thick. So I, what I was doing with the rulers, I just didn't get them. I just didn't get precise enough. Right. My ruler moved a little bit when I was cutting them. Uh, if I was a little more careful, I could have gotten them perfectly 12 out of them because it was 12, it was exactly 12 inches long. Right. So I could have gotten exactly 12. But whatever, it still turned out really good. The, I think it's, um, the texture of the cinnamon has a lot to do with why I like it. Mm -hmm. You literally get like crystals of cinnamon and sugar and, mm -hmm that and the dough and the sweetness of the icing this is just this is it's really uh, really good much much better than anything i've ever gotten out of a can now i do have to say the dough for me has a little bit of a biscuity kind of uh flavor mm -hmm. if you if you get if you got like a bite without any cinnamon on it, it's pretty plain mm -hmm. But um, but mo but there's so much cinnamon in there yeah, that you really don't get much without without right. the cinnamon on there. So it's really good. Well, I hope you can find these in your area. Uh, Three dollars too. That's not. We've bad. only seen them so far at Meyer, but I'm sure they're going to be everywhere once once fall comes. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.